Today we're going to talk about the accounting equation. This is the basic tool of accounting. So all assets have to come from somewhere. Assets are things that firms buy that have future value, hasn't been used up yet. And so they can get it, get assets by borrowing it, usually cash. The owners can give it to the firm, that's usually cash too, or they can earn it, where they have sold something to a customer at a price that's higher than what they cost. And so that difference is profit. So reducing that down to the technical words, assets come from either liabilities, those are creditors who expect to be repaid, but they've given you assets for now, or equity, and equity's got two parts. It has the contributed capital, what you got from owners, and what you earned on your own. Both of these are available for owners. One came from owners and one came from profitable operations. The equity is considered the residual, if you will. So assets minus liabilities will give you equity. So here are all your assets. Some of those assets will be used to satisfy liabilities to repay, and the rest will be ready for available for owners. Now in retained earnings, you have revenues, less expenses, less dividends. So revenues, when you sell to customers, retained earnings goes up. When you use up resources, retained earnings go down. And when you return profits to owners, which is what dividends are, retained earnings go down. So retained earnings is impacted by these three things. It goes up by revenues, down by expenses, down by dividends. So retained earnings are all the earnings the firm has ever earned, less the ones that weren't retained. So if you give it back to owners, they're not retained in the firm. So let's start playing with this a little bit. First, let's notice that under retained earnings, these two revenues less expenses is the profit or the earnings or the income. These three words are used interchangeably and they all three mean the net of revenues less expenses. So profit, earnings, and income are revenues less expenses. Dividends is not part of the calculation of profit, earnings, and income. It is a return of profits, earnings, and income to the owners. So now that we've worked on a little bit of vocabulary, let's see whether or not you know how this works. If assets are 500000 and liabilities are 200000 solve for equity. You can freeze this frame and then go forward and we'll do it together. So I put in the assets and liabilities into my accounting equation and I have the X for equity. I solve for equity by subtracting liabilities from both sides. That isolates the X on one side of the equals. And so I have assets minus the 300,000. So equity is 200,000. And I can check my answer by putting that into the spot and then adding it and seeing if I am in balance. If I'm not, then you can find your clerical error. Let's try another one. Freeze the frame and see if you can work this. So here we have the two pieces of equity broken out. So we have contributed capital and retained earnings. So I put the assets, liabilities, and retained earnings in their spots and then I see the missing piece and so I have to subtract the 300,000 and the 100,000 from the right side in order to solve and so I've got the 500,000 less the 300 less the 100 leaves me 100,000 is contributed capital. And I can take this 100 here and put it up in this spot and check my answer. So if these three things added up don't equal 500,000, then I know to go back and check. This one's a little bit different. Have a look at this one. Freeze your frame and see if you can do it. So here, we're given the change rather than the balance, and that's okay, because the accounting equation must always stay in balance. So if you change one side, you have to change the other side by the same amount. Um, and this side, can, this side can net 
into 0. So this can be 0 over here, but 0 still has to equal 0. It has to be the same on either side. So liabilities went up and earnings went up. And so this side has to still be equal to what changed on this side. So assets have to be up by 450. Where did they come from? Some of them came from borrowings, and some came from selling at higher than cost. Let's put it into an exam question format and see how this feels. Take a look at this, freeze it, and work it, and then we'll do it together. So if you borrow from the bank, you're now going to have cash, but you're also going to have a liability. So assets went up and liabilities went up, and there was no effect on equity. Now, as time goes on, by the end of next year, you might have interest on the debt, and that's going to further impact your account equation. But on the day that you borrow, the only difference is now you have cash and a new liability. So go on back to your chapter and review and work your homework. Come back and review this one again if you feel that you need to.